Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Campfire and Gunsmoke. I hope you enjoyed that high energy coming in at you. So summer's almost over. Well, not for me. Summer lasts in Florida till December, but say la vie. So summer's almost over for most everyone. And I figured for this first uh, EDC Wednesday, we're going to go ahead and do a tactical gear dump of all the stuff I've been carrying with me for the summer. Uh, basically, this is just gonna be all the EDC that I personally carried on me the entire summer. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for joining us today. We're gonna have a good time, I hope. And uh, yeah, let's just get right into it. Play the intro. All right, so now that we got that all out of the way, we have some cool stuff. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get into pretty much all the stuff I'm carrying around. We'll start first and foremost with the bag. So this guy is the DDT uh, Tactical Sling, I think is what they call it. I'll link it down in the description below, or at least I'll link DDT. I don't know if they actually still make this because I got it on sale a few years ago. So I'm not sure if they still make this or what's going on with it, but I will check in editing. So. Hopefully I'll have that. If not, I'll have in the description some alternatives for you. Now, this is a pretty cool backpack. You're gonna be able to carry a lot in there. You got your normal sunglass kind of pocket right up here, where I actually took the sunglasses out and everything already. So we'll I'll show you guys what I what I carry for that. You got your larger pockets, you got a nice little strap system, kind of keep everything nice and compact to your body. So that's pretty nice. Uh, you got nice concealed pocket right against the body back there in the back and then of course you got your main larger pocket which has again more straps in it to keep everything going you got a nice big patch of molly if you want to put some morale patches in there or anything like that you got some admin pockets things of that nature in here now i do actually have a couple things in here but i'll put those take those out and i'll show those in due course but yeah that's basically the backpack it's a it's got a good weight to it it's not the lightest thing in the world, but it is a nice sling backpack. You got a nice thick strap and everything, good clips. Now, uh, one thing that is cool, and the reason I actually initially went with this is that it does have a third strap, so if you're wearing it, you can actually snap that on if you're needed to run or anything like that, and that'll keep it in place for a good point. You also got a little rescue whistle on that. I'm not sure how important that is to you, but it's there if you need it. So, that's a pretty cool backpack, all things considered. I, I like it a lot and I use it. Now, the only real complaint I have about it is that uh, it is kind of a tactical design of a backpack. And uh, I don't super like that, mostly because I, I feel like that brings a little bit of too much unwanted attention in some cases. It's never really been a problem for me, so it, it's kind of one of those measure it as you see it kind of situations. We'll get into the kind of more no, uh, more civilian stuff before we get into the really fun things that I carry with me. So we'll start with these because I'm wearing them already on camera. These are Aftershocks headphones. Pretty cool headphones if you've never seen them before. They basically work by uh, wiggling like the ear bones you got in you instead of like going into your ear. So they come up and over and they come on top of it. You can, you know, keeps your ears from getting wet and things like that. It'll allow you air to flow. Some people really like them. I'm one of those people. This isn't sponsored by any of the brands I'm showing off, by the way. This is just all stuff I personally carry. So everything here is by my actual recommendation or it's just what I have. So we'll just go ahead and go with that. It's nothing's being sponsored or anything like that. So yeah, these are cool. They have a pretty good charge on them. I think these are actually dead right now. I probably need to recharge these, but they're nice. They're, they're good Bluetooth headphones. They actually make a waterproof one now. I think it's the uh, Aftershock Sport or something like that. So you can even get these waterproof and you can actually swim with them is what they're advertising. I have no idea if that's true or not, but it's cool if it is. Uh, sunglasses I always carry because I'm in Florida. We got the electric here. These are just nice sunglasses. Electric is a cool brand. For a little bit cheaper, but you get some of that kind of Ray-Ban style thing. They're not like cheap, cheap. Like they're still gonna run you a hundred bucks most of the time unless you get them on sale. But they're good. I like them a lot. Then we got a nice Gerber folder, folding knife that I keep on me. This is a this is just a nice knife for anything I might need it for. It cuts really well. You can open boxes with it really easily. Things of that nature. So that's just a nice Gerber knife I carry with me. Uh, then we have my kind of administration pouch. 
Uh, this is a VanQuest kind of safety pouch. I'm sure you guys have seen this before if you're into EDC. This is a great company. They make a lot of cool stuff. Uh, nice backpacks and uh, things like that. Inside, we're gonna have a nice Benchmade Feel sharpening kit that I keep around because I never know when I'm gonna need to sharpen that knife. I have a receipt for something and we're gonna put that away because I have no idea what that's for. Uh, then we have the other piece of items that I actually keep on me that's pretty cool. This is from a custom maker out in Boulder, Colorado called Titch and Hitch and Timber. And they are, they make some really good stuff. Uh, leather wallets, pocketbooks, things like that. Uh, I always keep a nice little notebook in here. Also, you can see from them, it just comes kind of standard with them. It's a nice night notebook. I've never seen any reason to change it. And then I carry a Big Ideas kind of universal pen. This one's one of the copper ones, it's patined. I've had it for a long time. And they just take whatever kind of um, ink cartridge you can get. I actually need to get a new one because this one's almost dead. But it's nice, it, it shortens up to being a pretty thin, uh, pretty small pen. So it's a pretty cool design. I definitely like them a lot. I'll link both those guys down in the description below for y'all if you're interested. And they make tons of different colors on both of those things. Copper, brass, all that kind of good jazz. I think they even have titanium for the pen one. Uh, so let's see, we got iPhone, iPhone X. I don't upgrade quickly, so I got that used and I will not change it until it needs to be changed. You know, got my keys on me. I always carry around a little lighter as well. I don't smoke or anything like that, but you never know when you're gonna need a lighter for someone else or uh, you know, just to carterize something or anything like that. Uh, these are pretty cool. Now, I know some people carry around like uh, challenge coins and things like that. I don't, mostly because I wasn't in the military or anything like that. I, I really haven't found a challenge coin I really like. I carry around cards though. Uh, these are a set of the Citizen, uh, the Citizen Premium from Theory 11. Theory 11 make just really nice cards. I would check them out. They make like James Bond cards and things like that. But these are super nice kind of really fancy kind of designs. They have a nice slick feel to them. So you feel, you can feel how quickly like things kind of shuffle and how easy it is to spill everything. So we'll put those down before I 52 pick up myself. And uh, these are really nice. I, Theory 11's I think a magic card maker mostly. So, you know, they're just good cards more than anything else. You can pick them up online they're like ten dollars a box uh or you can actually i've seen them at like different bookstores like uh barnes and nobles down here in florida they actually sell them or started selling them recently and i saw they had a few models of theirs so you can pick them you can pick up a theory 11 deck pretty much anywhere now i think all right, so now we're gonna get to the thing that will probably, if anything's gonna get me banned on YouTube, it'll be this, but I will do safely. This is gonna be your Glock 45. If you guys seen me, see my camping video, you know I have this before. And once again, it's showing safe for YouTube. I can see the camera, you can see me. So there's no handgun, no bullet, click, nothing happens. So yeah if you guys don't know what a glock 45 is it's um so it's a compact slide on a full size frame so it's kind of a bigger gun uh, all things considered it's gonna feel short wise but you have a massive handle and this is actually the reason i do off body carry and i carry in that bag as opposed to carrying on my person because you know when you're wearing shorts when you're wearing uh even a baja hoodie like what i'm wearing it, printing is just a problem and especially down here in the south so carrying off body just works for me a lot better uh, you know that's the thing I can sling it around pretty easily and pull my pistol if I really needed to like god I've never actually had to do that but that's generally the um, the reason I carry and yeah this is stock I have an actual custom slide and and barrel for this guy but um, until I get a red dot for it and I'm still trying to decide which red dot I actually want to get for it I find that the custom, just the stock ones actually give me a little bit better accuracy and they're just, you know, feel a little bit better. Plus it's heavier than the ones I have. So the re felt recoil is a little bit less as well. So until I get a red dot for it, this is going to stay the way it is. Now I also carry two mags of, uh, seven, you know, two standard mags, 17 rounds of hollow point ammunition. Uh, and this one is gonna be the Hornady self-defense load. And the other one I have SIG because the uh, gun shop I was buying from ran out of the Hornady stuff. I'm not particular either way, guys. I'm not, you know, Hickok 45 or any of the other gun tubers who 
shoot tremendous amounts and actually have a super big preference on ammunition type. I know Hornady's good and I know SIG's good, so I got the ammunition that was affordable and available in bulk. And since I never shoot hollow point outside of, well, since I never shoot hollow point because I, I never had to shoot anyone, thank God, uh, I just kind of leave it with what it is. It works great for me. Alrighty guys, um, let's see, is there anything else in my pockets? Mr. Frodo Baggins. Let's see, is there anything I forgot? Um, there it is, my wallet. <laughs> yeah, so I carry a Trayvax wallet. This is one of those leather steel ones they make that kind of mix with the bottle opener. And believe it or not, I've gotten way too much use out of this bottle opener. I don't know if it's just the fact that because I have it, I use it or if it's actually useful. But yeah, Trayvax wallets, um, you, get, you get a nice little money clip on the back there and then you can carry quite a few cards in there. And uh, yeah, these are great too. Uh, if you're looking for a nice gift for someone, uh, these and they, you know, you want to give them a nice wallet, definitely check out Tradex. They make some really good stuff. Again, not sponsored, but could be sponsored <laughs> if Tradex or anyone actually feels like sponsoring a guy with no subscribers just yet. But anyway, so that's it, guys. That's pretty much everything I got on me. Uh, it's I hope. You know, it works for me. It works for me. It's my everyday carry. I don't have any particular theme or anything quite yet because I kind of have to do what I call the eclectic grab bag mix where I'm having to get stuff as I can get it, you know, as I have it on sale, things like that. And this is just my setup, guys. There's nothing particular about it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, if there's anything you guys recommend me start carrying or if there's any cool ideas or if you just want to even talk about what you guys care go ahead and do all that downstairs in the in the comments below i'm really happy to have that engagement like share and subscribe would be greatly appreciated and um, on friday we're going to have a new video out this it's going to be about cryptid so hopefully that's interesting to you guys and you come on back anyway guys have a good one see you out there thanks for staying with me today and stay safe out there bye bye